He claims, Avi Loeb does, that NASA is keeping critical evidence about 3i Atlas away from public view. Well, on October 2nd, the 3i Atlas came closest to Mars. A Manhattan-sized object from another star system just streaked past Mars. And Avi Loeb claims NASA holds the clearest images ever captured, but won't let scientists see them. Could the secrets of 3 slash Atlas, its blinding brightening, uncanny blue color, hints of non-natural acceleration, change everything we think we know about the cosmos? What is NASA not revealing, and why does it matter right now? For Avi Loeb, this was a moment that couldn't be allowed to slip by. A Harvard astrophysicist and former chair of the astronomy department, Loeb has built his career on the idea that rare cosmic events deserve rigorous, open scrutiny. He is well known for championing the investigation of anomalies, especially those that challenge our assumptions about what's natural and what might be engineered. Years earlier, Loeb stirred controversy by proposing that Oumuamua could be artificial in origin, a stance that drew both sharp criticism and international attention. Now, with 3YY slash Atlas, he sees an even greater opportunity, a massive, active object discovered early enough for the world's telescopes and spacecraft to coordinate their efforts. Loeb's advocacy is rooted in a belief that science works best when data is shared immediately and widely. With 3I slash Atlas, he has called for rapid release of every image, spectrum, and measurement, arguing that only full transparency can unlock the secrets of such an improbable visitor. The stakes, in his view, are not just scientific curiosity, but the possibility of rewriting what we know about our place in the universe. On October 2nd, 2025, as 3i slash Atlas swept past Mars, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter executed a rare imaging sequence. The high-rise camera, managed by the University of Arizona, targeted the interstellar object with a resolution near 30 kilometers per pixel, three times sharper than what Hubble could achieve from Earth. Data from this session were compressed, stored, and scheduled for downlink through the Deep Space Network, following the standard chain. Spacecraft memory, relay to ground, then transfer to the Science Operations Center in Tucson for processing. For events of this rarity, planning logs, exposure IDS, and pointing data are meticulously archived. Yet, as of late October, no high-rise image of 3i slash Atlas appears in the public database. The last posted frame from October 30th covers only Martian terrain, not the comet. At the same time, the European Space Agency released its own ExoMars TGO images of 3i slash Atlas, confirming the comet's position and activity. These ESA images, though lower in resolution, became immediately available to researchers worldwide. By contrast, NASA's higher fidelity frames remain locked inside internal servers, with no press bulletin or technical summary. Direct outreach to the high-rise principal investigator has yielded no substantive reply. Official statements cite routine processing, but the absence of images from such a high-profile event stands out. For scientists eager to analyze the comet's structure, trajectory, or possible anomalies, the procedural bottleneck is more than an inconvenience. It represents a lost opportunity for rapid, collaborative discovery. In this case, the world's best data are captured, confirmed, and quietly withheld, leaving the scientific community to wait, speculate, and wonder what those frames might reveal. Within days of its closest approach to the sun, 3i slash Atlas began to defy expectations. Observatories tracking its light curve reported a dramatic surge in brightness, far beyond the predictions of standard comet models. Photometry from SOHO's Lasco coronagraph revealed a steep R to the minus 7.5 power dependence, an unusually sharp increase as the comet neared perihelion. Most comets brighten with a much gentler curve. Here, the leap in luminosity left researchers recalculating exposure times in real time. The surprises didn't end with brightness. Early color analysis from coronagraph and CEOR-1 Data showed the comet's spectrum shifting bluer than the sun itself, a result that stands out against the backdrop of typical dusty red comets. This blue signature hints at energetic gas emissions, possibly C2 or NH2, 
and suggests activity not easily explained by sunlight alone. For many astronomers, a blue-dominated spectrum at this solar distance is a puzzle that demands more than routine answers. Hints of non-gravitational acceleration soon entered the conversation. Astrometric teams comparing predicted and observed positions began to notice subtle deviations. The available data are still sparse, and no official orbital solution has confirmed a measurable drift, but the possibility hangs in the air. If confirmed, even a slight push away from a purely gravitational path would raise new questions about the forces at work, whether from jets of gas, complex outgassing, or something less conventional. These fresh anomalies, extreme brightening, unexpected color, and the first whispers of motion that doesn't quite fit, have only deepened the need for the missing high-resolution images. Without them, the scientific community is left to speculate, piecing together fragments while the sharpest view remains just out of reach. Long before the sudden brightening and blue spectrum set off new debates, 3's i atlas had already built a reputation for defying expectations. Its path into the solar system came in nearly parallel to the plane of the planets, a statistical rarity that caught the attention of orbital dynamicists. Most interstellar objects arrive from random angles, but this trajectory hints at either a remarkable coincidence or a deeper story about its origin. The object's estimated mass stands out even more. Calculations suggest 3i slash Atlas is roughly a million times heavier than Oumuamua, O Mua Mua, the first interstellar visitor. That difference isn't just academic, it means Atlas is a true cosmic heavyweight, with enough material to survive deep encounters with the Sun and produce a coma visible across millions of kilometers. Yet, despite its size, the comet's chemical fingerprint does not fit the mold. Spectroscopic surveys have detected a plume rich in nickel, losing about 4 grams per second, while showing little to no iron. This ratio is unusual for comets, which typically mirror the solar system's elemental abundances. Some researchers note that nickel-rich iron-poor signatures are more common in processed materials than in untouched cosmic ice. Further complicating the picture, observers noted a jet of material streaming not away from the Sun, as seen in most comets, but toward it. This sunward jet, coupled with polarization measurements that don't match standard cometary dust, adds layers of complexity. Each anomaly on its own might be explained away but together they form a ledger that resists easy answers. For Avilobe, these details are not just curiosities. They are clues, waiting for high-resolution imaging and open data to reveal whether 3i slash Atlas is simply an outlier or something that challenges the boundaries of natural explanation. NASA's official position on 3i slash Atlas remains measured and methodical. Agency spokespeople describe the object as a remarkable but natural comet, pointing to the diversity found among interstellar visitors. Most planetary scientists echo this view, emphasizing that even the oddest features can often be explained by the wide range of cometary behavior observed in the solar system and beyond. While some researchers have voiced frustration over the pace of data release, NASA maintains that its protocols are designed to protect data integrity and allow for careful analysis before public dissemination. Meanwhile, the International Asteroid Warning Network and the European Space Agency are coordinating a global comet campaign from November through January, aiming to pool observations and refine models of 3i slash Atlas's structure and path. This collaborative approach reflects the broader scientific community's preference for patience, peer review, and collective scrutiny over rapid speculation. Formal requests under the Freedom of Information Act are now active, targeting the release of every exposure log, pointing file, and raw image from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter's October 2nd session. Avi Loeb is not alone. Scientists and transparency advocates across institutions are pressing for immediate access, arguing that the images belong to the public and the global research community. The rationale is simple. Science advances when data is open, not locked behind administrative review or institutional caution. These images could inform the International Comet Campaign, shape follow-up observations, and resolve the mounting questions about 3 slash Atlas. The call is clear, release the MRO data, let independent experts scrutinize every pixel, and allow the scientific process to run its course.
In a moment shaped by uncertainty and debate, transparency is the only way forward. On October 2, 2025, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter captured the highest resolution images ever taken of an interstellar object passing near Mars. Images that, as of October 31st, remain unreleased. In the weeks since, scientists have documented a series of unexpected findings. 3. I slash Atlas, brightened far more than predicted, showed a distinctly blue color and exhibited a faint hint of non-gravitational acceleration. Prior studies also noted its unusually large mass, a nickel-rich but iron-poor plume, a sunward jet, and its rare alignment with the planetary plane. Despite these anomalies, NASA continues to label 3i slash Atlas as a natural object, while international researchers and active FOIA request press for transparency. Today, a key piece of the puzzle, NASA's high-rise images, remains out of reach, leaving crucial questions unanswered. Until the data is released, the scientific community cannot fully test the extraordinary claims or resolve the mysteries surrounding this interstellar visitor.